Okay, this video comes in two parts. The first part is me trying to figure out screen recording software, and I will let you guys know what I have found. I'm going to go through the bad software that I've recorded footage with and found out failed miserably. Hypercam, poor quality, out of sync. Bullens screen recorder, video freezes after about 30 seconds, so in 45 minutes you still see the frame from 30 seconds. ZD Soft Screen Recorder has issues with recording codecs, perhaps? Incompatibility with Vista? I'm not sure. It's just when you click on record, it goes, uh. <laughs> You guys are going to kick up from that. Uh, Ice Screen Recorder has massive sound syncing issues. Uh, basically, the sound is about two-thirds as fast as the video. Uh, Super Screen Recorder uh, fails to save the file, so it gets all the recording right, and then you click on uh, save the file, and it goes, uh just like the other program. And so those are the ones that I tried and completely failed. I always have used Fraps for full screen games, but Fraps does not work for certain windowed games or games that I'd have to run in DOSBox, that sort of thing. Or games that I would want to show both the game and someone really special to me by the name of Osei Sidrui. And then I had Camtasia Studio, which Lately, more and more has been randomly putting static in instead of sound after about 15 minutes into a 45 minute video. So that has ruined a lot of footage, a lot of footage that uh, would have been quite interesting to you guys, but I had to throw it out because Camtasia Studio is a pain in the butt. So Camtasia Studio is still my favorite rendering software, but finally I found a recording software called My Screen Recorder Pro. And it sounds really stupid. And it, it's actually not that bad. The interface is not too bad. It kind of makes sense. It's, it's not a bad interface. It's simple, but you've got some options. You can do some different things with it. Uh, sound is limited to, uh, a little bit limited. And also there is some static in the background, but it's very smooth static, if that makes any sense. And it is extremely easy to remove with the audio adjustments in Camtasia Studio. So I think it's basically my solution is... Um, screen recorder, my screen recorder pro. Um, so I would recommend that. Um, I don't know how you want to go about getting that. Um, but yeah, there you go. And the next one is, this is part two. I have noticed that I'm about three months behind on new game releases, the list in the left side of the screen. And I don't like that. I wish I was playing some more new games like Bionic Commando and Stalker Call of Pripyat and um, all of those different games like that. Um, but I haven't been able to get around to it because people are requesting me to continue footage for old game, uh, games I already made footage for a lot. I mean, people are going hog wild in requesting games. And I think what I should do is I should really simplify my system and not give it the absolute highest priority. Give it high priority, but not the highest. Essentially what I would do is I'd remove both currents and I'd put down a locked into position sort of thing. It's kind of, it's not too complicated. It just means that once it's above locked down, um, it won't change its position anymore. It'll be important for it to be uploaded uh, relatively soon. But one game that's proven it's popular enough to get more footage doesn't necessarily need to be higher than another game that's proven itself to be popular f to get more footage, if that makes any sense. But it, it'll just be simpler than the current current system. Um, and then also what I would do to reduce, to make it so that it's not like comes and turns around so you never see uh, continuation of old game footage, is I'll turn, I'll make it so that instead of uploading 30 games, or I'll be looking at 30 games in my list, I'll be only looking at 15, the ones that I think are most interesting, most LP-worthy. There's a lot of really cool games out there, like Left 4 Dead 2, for example, that, I mean, they're a good game, but is it really LP-worthy if I've already done Left 4 Dead 1? <laughs> I'd rather do uh, things like StarCraft 2 or just wildly amazing, interesting games like, I don't know, um, the Mini Ninjas. That seems like something that is way out there and different. I'd love to try some of these. Um, so that's sort of where I'm thinking on these, this sort of thing. And um, it's not that they're bad games, it's just they're not as interesting. Um, so that's my question, you guys. This is my question. Do you really like the system how it is and you don't care at all that it's taken me a really long time to get to new games? Or would you like to see me... Uh, put a little bit more priority on uh, new games. 
uh, let me know uh, in the comments below, and I'll probably be making a decision based on that. Um, I might not go with a popular decision. I'll probably be going with the most educated decisions, or most educated reasons. Um, hope to talk to you soon, and hopefully I'll be uploading footage again very shortly. I have a ton recorded, just not a lot rendered. Alright, bye guys.